Hey guys, so you got a problem. Your password is not working whenever you try to make changes to any of your settings or install any new apps or anything like that. Well, that may be because your account is not an administrator account. You may think it is, but then you may have done something like I did, like I had to actually reinstall OS X because my Mac decided to stop working on me, and when I restored all of my information, it did not give me administrator's access. So, to check this, you're going to go to System Preferences. And then you're going to go to Users and Groups. Now, you'll notice here, here it says Administrator because I've already fixed my account. Um, but yours may say something like Standard or something along those lines. If it does, that is why you can't change any settings. If yours says Administrator, let me know in the comments or send me an email and I will do my best to try and help you with that. But if this says standard then, and you don't have another administrator's account on your Mac, then you've got a problem. So I am going to tell you how to fix that to make your account an administrator's account. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to reboot and boot your Mac into single user mode. Okay, so to boot your Mac into single user mode, you're going to first need to restart your Mac. So you're going to go up here to the Apple, and you're going to hit restart, hit restart again. Now you're going to hold down Command and S on your keyboard. You're going to hold those down. You're going to hold those down until the black screen appears, like so. So this is all lots of code. It may look intimidating to you, but it's really not. It's actually kind of fun. It makes you feel guilt. It makes you feel uh, geeky. Sorry. Um, so now you'll need to enter the following codes, and I will put them into the description for you in order. Make sure you get the spaces right, or it won't work. Okay, and after you have entered those codes, you're just going to type reboot. What this will do is it will launch your Mac back into the initial setup as if you just bought your Mac. Don't worry, it won't delete any of your information or anything like that. Your original account will still be there, but this gives you the opportunity to create an administrator's account. Okay, so now my Mac is booted back up, and you'll see I'm in the original setup screen. So just go ahead, set it up. Make the necessary settings. Set up your Wi-Fi. And hit continue, because apparently enter doesn't work. Don't transfer any information now, this is very important. And do not sign in with your Apple ID. Hit skip. Read the terms and conditions, read them if you really want to. Okay, and here's your opportunity to create an administrator's account. So I'm just going to name it admin, name it whatever you like. And I'm going to make the password 123456. Those are your choice. Now you're set up. And it will launch you into the administrator's account that you created. Okay, so now you're in your administrator's account. You can do the same thing we did before to get to the accounts, which is go to system preferences. And then go to users and groups again. And 
And now you could, you'll notice that you've got your current user, which has the administrator status, and then you've got the user that you want to change, which has the standard status. I changed that back to standard just for the purposes of this video. So you're going to click the lock to make changes. And then you're going to type in the administrator password that you created in the setup and hit unlock. Then you're going to click on the user you want to change and simply just check the box that says allow users to administer this computer. Get a notice saying you must restart the computer for your changes to the account to take effect. Click OK and then click the lock to prevent further changes. You can exit out of system preferences and then what you'll want to do is you'll want to go here and you'll want to restart your computer and log in with your own account, not the administrator's account. Okay, so by now you have restarted your Mac and booted into your own account, not the administrator's account that we created. So now the final step is to delete that administrator's account so that once again your account is the only account on the Mac. So we're going to go to System Preferences again and go to Users and Groups just one more time. And you're going to click the lock to make changes. Your password will now work for this because you made yourself an administrator. And then you're going to click the administrator account and hit the little minus down here. And you're going to delete the home folder and erase home folder securely. And delete the user. So it's deleting account here. Wait for that to go away. It may take a few seconds. And there we go. So now that's gone. So we can click the lock once again just to prevent anyone from making more further changes. And then we can leave system preferences. That's really all there is to it, guys. If you have any questions, just leave a comment or drop me an email. I'll leave my email in the description below. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this video. Um, and let me know if there's something that you need help with, and I'll do my best to make a video on that too. I'm here to help you guys, so just let me know. Have a good day.